Good morning, everybody. Uh, give it a couple of minutes to make sure that, or a couple of seconds to make sure that Facebook lets everybody know that we are live. It's been a Oh, hold on. It's been, I don't know, I've gotten a lot done, but it's just been weird. I had was here late last night, so I had a late start this morning because I just couldn't get up. Oh. Here we go. So we have Calypso coming, Calypso 2 coming in next month, which is this gorgeous sea theme in two different colorways, and everybody loves it. It's actually been, I think I want to say at least two years, maybe even three since the first Calypso came out. And it sold very quickly. Quickly, so this is the kaleidoscope version. I just have to put on the final border of this small quilt. Oh. And it's really cool. I've already done the panel version in the blue colorway because it has a blue and a teal colorway. Um, just to give an idea, this is the actual fabric that I'm putting on the border and it's the fabric that I used in the kaleidoscope version. I'm not going to tell you it's a one block wonder because it's not, um, just as an FYI, one block wonder is an equal lateral, equal lateral triangle. What that means is it's a triangle with three equal sides. So you can turn the triangle anyway. This that I've just done and just showed you is kaleidoscope because it's done with a wedge. Um, each of the sides are not the same measurements on the triangle. That's the basic difference. But you can see the fabric. So this is the final border. It is beautiful fabric i love it it's by in the beginning so you know it sells really really well because everybody loves it okay uh and forgive me if i already told you this last week but my brain is a little bit messed up we have camberbell's candy corn quilt shop which is which is that quilt in and let's see we'll show you a close-up this way mm. See, it's what is that quilt? It's so much fun. Anyway, so we've got the book, we've got the embellishment kit. Um, and if my suppliers can be believed, the fabric kits were shipped or will be shipped today. Either they were shipped yesterday or they will be shipped today, something like that. So with Kimberbell fabric. Anyway, so yesterday we have a ton, last week we had a ton of people here for my little video and today I feel like I'm talking to myself, but that's the way it goes. Okay, our next two blocks today on our make the cut. And first block is uh, 53 and it's super easy. This one is a really easy block. We'll have a little bit more to work with on the next block. Um, here we go. So here it is, just three pieces. This one is really simple. The next one is a lot more work to it. So all I'm gonna do is connect this piece to this piece and then up to this and your block is done. That's the nice thing about this quilt. It really will help you master your techniques and you they're not all difficult blocks by any stretch of the imagination. And you will be given a chance to just kind of have fun and sew. I really did enjoy sewing the first quilt a lot. Sometimes you don't want difficult. You just want to sit and sew and have some fun. And this is a great quilt for that. It's also a great stash buster quilt. And there we go. All we're gonna do now, so these two together and this block is done. I know, simple, simple. 
They're not all that simple. The heat index here in Florida this week is above 100 into the 100 and teens. It's just crazy. This is definitely not the week that you want your AC to go out or break because it is warm. All right. There is our first block, simple block. Okay. The next block is not so simple. I'm going to show you how to do high square triangles two different ways again. These are nothing new. We've been through them before. All right. Let's see if you can get this on the video screen. Okay. So we've got one set of half square triangles up here and one set here. We've got two solid blocks. This one's in the center. A rectangle here and a rectangle here. Um, what we're going to make next is the half square triangle on each side of the center bar. Now I've gone through this before, but it's worth repeating. The basic way for a half square triangle, hopefully you can see is this little line going from this corner to this corner. You're going to sew a quarter of an inch on this side and a quarter of an inch on this side and cut on that line. Okay, and that will give you two half square triangles. It's very, very simple. If you have a quarter inch, quarter inch square with, a, I mean, quarter inch foot with a guide on your machine, you're gonna put the guide right on the line. That way you're sewing a quarter of an inch away from that line. And when I get off, I don't necessarily cut my thread. All I do is lift my foot Move my thread out of the way and keep on going. Now I'm going to sew a quarter of an inch on the other side of the line. And then all you do is cut right on the line and you have two half square triangles. There are two different fabrics right side together. Make a half square triangle. And we've got little threads that are being persistent. There's your half square triangle. Okay. Now you can finger press these for now. And on these, I am specifically doing a scant quarter of an inch seam. Why? Because there is a lot of little sewing pieces. I'd rather my square be too big and cut it down than it being too small. Now here's the other method that I like to use because I have this grid glide, which has a ruler on it. Wow. I don't know why my monitor is freaking out, but it is. Okay. It has um a ruler with markings. So because I have that ruler with markings, I don't have to draw a line because I'm gonna keep this corner on my line, which is at the quarter of an inch mark. And it just saves me, whoops, a little extra time. These are not, you know, tricks that are going to save you hours, except for maybe over a length of, you know, a week or whatever. But it does save me a little bit of time because in my line of work, time is, my time is extremely valuable. And anything that saves me time is a wonderful thing. Here we go. Just like we did before, if I was doing a lot of these, which I did for up here, a number, I would just keep pushing them through and chain stitching. 
I would not break my thread at all. But just like we did on the first half square triangle, I'm still not going to cut my thread. I'm going to lift my foot, move it over, and just keep on sewing. Now, this does save me time, but it also saves me some aggravation. Every machine out there has its little perks, okay? Brother and Baby Lock are known for wanting to um, pull the fabric into the machine plate in the beginning when you first start stitching. And my machines are no different. They are Baby Lock and Brothers. So I have found chain stitching really does stop me from having to cut my threads and take my fabric out, reinsert the fabric and try it again without it going into the plate. All right. Now we have our other two half square triangles. And these are going this way. So all we have to do now is, so our two half square triangle sets together on either, for either side of the block. So I'm gonna sew these two together and these two together. I'm gonna iron them just a tad. Remember, scant quarter of an inch. What is a scant quarter of an inch in your seam? It means it's just a thread or two with smaller. And in the beginning, when you're practicing your seam allowances, I find that bigger is always better as far as your blocks being a little bit bigger and cutting them down. You're more apt to have no issues with um, the blocks not fitting. Okay, so we're gonna sew these two together. I can't wait till I can get some of this other stuff done so I can get on the long arm. I am dying. And the next week or so, I'm going to my newest long arm quilter customer and show her her machine because she just got her machine. So much fun. I really do love working on them. I just wish I had more time. There's just not enough hours in the day. Trust me when I tell you this. I could be here until midnight every single day and be here at four in the morning and I still wouldn't have enough time. All right. Now, all we're gonna do You've got a couple of options. Actually, no, we're better doing it this way. Okay, what I wanna do is sew these two to here. We're gonna sew these together and sew these together. Um, so this one on top and this one over, this one on and then this one on. It's kind of like a Jenga or a puzzle. And you get used to and learning how to put it together the more you sew. Um, I've made my fair share of mistakes and had to rip things out and stitch them back together. Eventually, the more that you quilt and sew and do different patterns, morning Fran and different blocks, you'll be able to look at a picture of a quilt and know exactly how to put it together without any directions whatsoever. It takes some practice and it takes some time with you doing different blocks and different quilts, but eventually you get there. In my case, and I'm not an expert, I don't claim to be an expert by any stretch of the imagination. It gets to be um, a little bit more difficult to, do, to find something that I haven't done. 
And when I do find a quilt or a pattern that is new, I get very, very excited. I haven't taught a lot of paper piecing, but I think I'm working on something now because I like paper piecing. What I don't like is pulling all the papers. So I'm always on the lookout for something new to make paper piecing fun without having to pull all those papers off because that's like my, the worst job in the world. And I think I found a couple of options. Oh, I'm glad, Fran. Your uh, black cat capers wall hanging is beautiful. It's a weird week this week, I think. I don't know, it just feels weird. The heat is not good. You know, we got people starting, the kids starting school all over the place. You're welcome, Fran. COVID, you know, with the Delta version is around. It's just, it's a weird week. I think people just don't know what to do. I don't know. I'm just gonna stay here in my little bubble. I have so many ideas in my head and so many projects that I want to do or um, that I want to try and it's just like there's just not enough time in the day to get it all done all right give me a second people I gotta do one thing here this heat though let me tell you is not making it very much fun I can tell you that for a fact I know I live in Florida but Holy banolis, it is so warm. Oh, you like my little cutter? Um, I forget what it's called. I, I, used to, I have a few of them left, I sell them. But basically, good morning, Linda. I know, it's like crazy. There's just not enough time in the day. My little cutter here, let's see if I can show you. Basically, you know when you use a rotary blade and it starts to get um, dull? It's not sharp enough to cut fabric, but it is sharp enough to cut threads. So basically all you do is put it in this little connector and it connects, it, 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 all you need is a screwdriver to undo the screw and it stands in here and then it becomes a thread cutter especially when you do chain stitching like I do and when you travel ah, to class or to retreat it just sticks in here with and stays closed with magnets okay. when you're not all fingers and toes like I am today oh goodness gracious that's what happens when you start late in the day so the magnet holds it shut. Oh, and you get where you're going. It gives you new life to blades before you throw them out, which I like because I hate wasting money. And when you do a lot of chain stitching like I do, it's a great tool. Yes, Fran. I'll let you know what colors I have left. And um, I'll send it to you. So how are you, Miss Linda? As far as projects, I probably have more than most because every new fabric that comes in, every new quilt pattern that comes in, 
is a potential kit for me that I make to get to when I retire, which God only knows when that is. And um, yeah, I have a lot of kits already made in the back, ready for me for when I retire. Give me a second. I can't wait till Calypso comes in. Nice thing is I got my shop kits, as you can see, for they ship the actual fabric. So it's one of the few times that the, fab, the, the quilts are all done. Rainy, oh my goodness. I wish it rains here pretty much every day, but let me tell you, the heat index right now this week is terrible. Like it's between 108 and 113 every day this week. And yes, I know it's Florida, but that's just ridiculously warm. Too warm. It rains every day, which makes, not only does it rain, but we have terrible thunder and lightning storms here. So it makes trying to finish this quilt that I have on the long haul very difficult because my machines are all unplugged all the time unless I'm actually using it. And I have to, me too. Thankfully I have the AC lined up, but God forbid if it ever decides to break. But my long arm and my machines are unplugged 24 hours a day unless I'm using them. And I have to plug it in about an hour before I actually want to use it to kind of recharge the, the tablet, you know, that type of stuff. And lately it's been impossible because every time, you know, it could be grayed out and the storms come so fast every day that it's great until I want to sit there and use the machine. And then all of a sudden it starts thundering and lightning. All right, we're done. We're ready to go on to the next step. Sorry. Here we go. It is. It's really hot though. Like you can't sit out there for very long at all. All right. What I want to do now is I'm going to sew this part onto here. Then it should be, I'm hoping, big enough to sew this one on, let me see. Or at least sew these three together and then sew this one on and this one. We'll see how it goes. This is one of those times when I'm playing it by ear. Oops. From in the beginning of today, I told you that eventually you'll be able to look at a quilt or a pattern and know exactly how to put it together. Well, sometimes it's not that easy, even for me. And I have a little bit of trouble. So that's what I mean by playing it by ear on this one. We'll see how it goes. Well, that's one part. This block is a little bit more difficult than the last few blocks we've done. Not that it's hard, it's just a lot more easy. Now we're going to put this side on because, yeah.
pretty soon the summer will be over and not necessarily over because it's always summer here but I took some time off this summer from events relevance, and they're going to start up again a couple of weeks we've got a ton of camera bell events planned and scheduled till the end of the year They're all virtual, which is a lovely thing if you don't want to move your embroidery machine around because you can do them from the comfort of your home. And we have a lot of fun when we do them. All right, let's see. Now we're going to sew this part onto here. Almost done with this block. Then I get to start my day and unlock the door so customers can come in. And then we're just going to sew this one on. Now, this is definitely a misshapen block, it's definitely going to be bigger than I need, but that's okay. I'm good with that. I'd rather cut it down than have the block too small. By going slow and making sure your seams are as neat as possible, it'll really help. All right. All I have to do is arm this one piece over and this block is done. Remember, I'm not gonna tell you how big the block is supposed to be, but you have the pattern, you knew. So this is 54. All that's gotta be done is squared up. But 54 and 53. Does anybody have any questions for me? This week's blocks are done. No, all right. You know where I am if you need me. Um, I will be letting you know on Facebook if and when the fabric kits for Candy Corn Quilt Shop, Kimberbell's Candy Corn Quilt Shop come in. I'm pretty sure they're shipping at least today if they didn't ship yesterday. So that is like really exciting. And they'll be on the website as soon as I come in. Right now we still have the book, CD and embellishment kit already on Facebook. I mean, on the website, if you would like them. All right, I hope you have a great day. Hey, Shaman, how are you? Oh, cool, what, Kimberbell? It's really fun. I mean, Kimberbell is great no matter what, but which is that quilt are uh, cool. And I think the fabric quilt, yeah, fabric kits ship either yesterday or they're shipping today. You're welcome. All right, everybody. I hope you have a great day. If you need anything from me, questions on the website or anything else, let me know. I do too, Sharman. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.